Well, I've recently retired as Chief Executive of the Cork Education Training Board. I still remember in 2005 when I was appointed, being approached by Bob Seward, who was in charge of the Cork Academy of Music, and looking for help, looking for support, looking for teaching hours, looking for hours to develop not just music, but people as he saw it. It wasn't a mainstream activity. I had my doubts initially, I came up, saw was what was being offered and was immediately hugely impressed. I mean the idea at that stage it was primarily about bringing people off the live register, giving them music and giving them a pathway basically. Now, you know, it's, it, it, and what impressed me most, this wasn't just kind of, you know, soft, music and you know let's get people playing the guitar or maybe a piece of the piano music was used as a tool for social inclusion and people were actually given a life chance were educated here through the medium of music but it wasn't just a case of inclusion there was a huge emphasis on quality and people getting formal qualifications which allow them to go on to maybe UCC, CIT School of Music or one of the further education colleges be it in music and many of them did progress in music or other opportunities of third level education but to bring people who had little or no experience of education most of these people had dropped out before they had finished secondary education and to see these people progress on to UCC are as important onto employment just a marvelous effort so yes maybe we had to be a bit flexible in our approach but I would put it as one of the best decisions I ever made to support this particular institution and the products are there to be seen.